Hello, thank you for joining me for vlog number 23. The title of this vlog is an explanation. And I promise in a minute, I'll give you the explanation. Before I go there, I wanted to thank everybody who responded to my post in Facebook last week. I was grieving. I posted that just the day before I had to say goodbye to my 13 and a half year old male yellow lab named Luke. A quote I have never forget, forgotten, spoken by Robert Schuler, who was formerly the pastor of the Crystal Cathedral Ministries. The quote was, is, in love's service, only broken hearts will do. Evidence of that was last week. You guys hit it out of the ballpark. I think I had like 188 comments or posts. In love service, only broken hearts will do. I felt unity with you. Thank you. It lifted me up. What you don't know is that four weeks prior to Luke, I had to say goodbye to my 29 and a half year old African gray parrot, whose name was Angel. And I had had Angel since she was a baby. Angel's loss came to us as a shock to me. So in this last eight weeks, I have re been reminded of what true grief feels like. We forget the pain. I have been reminded. I'm sure you've known people too, where they're just like almost ashamed because the loss of a pet can hit us so profoundly, even more than, I've heard people say, even more than their parents. How do we explain that? How do we explain how the love of a pet can touch us so profoundly? Mm. That's what I'm gonna share. An explanation. Before I share this, this PowerPoint presentation has a picture of a number of animals in it. And just for your knowing, they were all my pets. An explanation. What is it about a pet's love? that makes it unique from all others? Why do we trust their love when we struggle to trust the love of others? How are they so easy to love? Why such a healing love? Can you explain it to me? Could it be? Since we were created as imperfect human beings, it is difficult for us to love imperfections. But animals were created in simple perfection. Could their perfection be a reflection of God? And that is the connection. In God's family, we are one. We are taught that God loves us with all of our imperfections. Through God's creatures, we know this to be true. I believe that our pets are God's way of showing us unconditional love in a form we won't reject, in a form we will never forget. 
thank you. I hope you have a blessed week.